Hi, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be walking a bit more of what once was the old Westrum line from Dunton Green. I'm up on the um, Dunton Green old station site there. And I'm standing beside the old underpass, which you can see it's very railway origin. You can see um, it's about 1881 the Dunton Green line was open. The original line and I think it is situated in where the car park is now and it used to go down beyond beyond where the trees are now I'm going to take you down further into the original underpass and you can see this is very um, original and the line does run from Duncan Green on the top here Towards now runs actually through some playing fields, which is now got a school on top of it. I'm going to be taking you through down to where it used to run, and hopefully, I can show you where the embankment used to come down that used to bring the train on top of down the side of the bank. I'm hoping I'm going to show you now where used to come down the side of the bank I'm going to point you over towards where it used to run now it used to come down through these trees somewhere along here I'm thinking it used to come down this way on this side it's a bit difficult to say to be honest used to go off pointing in that direction so it used to go through the fields up towards that way which is now a school so I'm going to be taking you further on we can't get through that way because it's all fenced off being a school so I'm going to take you on to where the next part of it where it used to go which is under the road This line used to be have two tunnels that used to run side by side. One of the tunnels has been backfilled, and where the line used to go after the tunnels, there's now a housing estate on it. So, I'm, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to take you down to where the line carries on after the housing estate down towards Chevening Halt. Now, there is a bit of a problem with getting from Chevening Halt further on as the M26 is on top of that original line now so I'm hoping a bit later on I can get you down into Westrum which is known as the road's called Flyers Flyers Road I think Flyers Lanes Flyer something like that I say this railway it opened in 1881 and it closed in 1961 now there was attempts to try and revive this line as a heritage line but there was actually competition around about that time with the buses with cars coming in and the line just lost about in one year i think it lost about 26 000 pounds and there was just no there's no point continuing on in on with this line so they just closed it in the end unfortunately so we're not on the original path yet but i'm going to show you some countryside anyway while i'm here and you can see back up that way you can see in the distance beyond through the trees there that's where the old the good yard used to be So you can see where it's quite obvious where the old line used to go. You can see it used to go from about where the houses are there, just back there where the light is, beyond the tree, in the picture to the left. And you used to run all the way along the tree line. I'll try and get a bit more in if I can. You can see it used to go through the fields there, up around the back. 
I can zoom in a bit more for you so you can see a little bit more. I'm going to go for Let's Me. Which is a little bit temperamental when it wants to be sometimes. That's it. Let's try and take you further up. We're just walking along the footpath now because I still can't go off, off that way. Before we get to the bridge, there's the playing field through there. You see it used to run, I don't know if you can see, but right over the back. I'm pointing right over the back of the field, it used to run right all the way along the back there. I'm going to take you on to the next bit. Hi, welcome, Hi, welcome back to the video. Uh, now, I managed to get down to where the bridge is. Uh, as you can see, there's a school there. And so the train would have come all the way down here all the way along through the tunnel I have it in, I've got some pictures here as well which I'm going to add on to the video now to the right there used to be another tunnel but that's been backfilled I'm going to take you through the tunnel now I say the architecture looks pretty much original from the top there I should take you along through the tunnel Pretty on the top of the bridge from that way. Yeah, I think the yeah, it would have been over this side to the left. Now, just before I'll get you back on. To where the original track bed used to run I'm just going to point you over in that direction so you can see all the trees now in them trees in the background you can hear a spitfire in the background I've been off I've been trying to get a vlog of that for a while as well but it's too quick so I'm gonna try and get up a bit closer on another day to get a spitfire along the back there as you can see the train used to run in between the trees. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you over there. I'm going to walk just a little bit. Because this, this is part, part one of the railway journey. It's a bit long through here. I'm trying to stick to the path. So all the way down. They would have run from there, in the corner there. On that bridge I just showed you last, and run down in between the trees. I'm going to get you over there now to show you a little bit more of the old track bed. They used to run from Dunton Green down to Westrum. I think it's Dunton Green, Chevening Halt, Braisted, then Westrum, and it closed in 1961. Uh, so some of the track, the old track bed now has the M26 on it, and I can't go in there and vlog that. <laughs> so. Just hoping it doesn't rain. I'm going to get you up into uh, this way. Thank you. There are these gates here. You can see it's a bit different than the usual railway videos I do. 
Now that is the original railway poster that would have been the old fence line along there. And you can see the old gate here. I think I showed you this before. So that's original, you can see that. Take a bit further in the can. I don't think there's any writing on the gate that they know have a no. Okay. And this was used to run from here down towards Chevening Halt the first stop was and they do have another gateway over there I'm going to try and get you over there actually if I can a bit difficult I'll get that That way to that gate as well. Now this gate here it's got very oldy. The ditch wouldn't have been there, I shouldn't have thought. The ditch down here. I should imagine this gate was put in for the local farmer back then. So they could travel from field to field. You see there are very old wrought iron gates. And the posts are uh, very old. Very really interesting finds. Yep. Let's go back over this way. And you're back on the track now. I shall end the video where in a minute started. Don't know what that is down there. You see where it's very stony around here where the old ballast would have been for the old track. Would have been much more open back then. As usual, the old lines are left to overgrow. Some of them are impassable. Please see the, um, the pictures I attached to this video. Just take it down just a little bit further. I think we're going to leave the video here. 